It's the 13th of September, 2016, and it was hoodie appropriate today. <laughs> to be fair, it was actually hoodie appropriate yesterday morning, but I stepped out the door before I really realized that. So I'm not making that mistake twice. I'm, I'm wearing the hoodie today. <laughs> It's gotten to the time of year where it's really cold in the morning. It might be warm later, but in the morning, you still need your hoodie. Had a good day at work. A bit tired, though, but good. It's one of those where my brain just sort of is in slow mode. You know, I've told you guys about those before. I had one today. Luckily, mine doesn't require math equations or anything like that, so I can still just do my job even through those. Where I am tired, though, just to be sure, we're actually going to um, have Mom take me to D&D &D tonight. Because, like I said, with it being a mental slow day and still so close to that seizure, I kind of need to be cautious for a while. By the way, I put my Valor pen on my bag. That way it'll be nice in there. Nice in there. What kind of phrase is nice in there? Oh well, anyway. Like I said, tired day. So, I'm gonna leave a bit early though. Because me and mom are gonna go get something to eat before I have to do some D&D, &D, so that'll be awesome. Away we go! I'm also bringing one of the contender boosters with me and I'm going to go ahead and hand it to the people that own our library copy of the contender so it can be put in there. So we got somebody asking um, for Rebecca's perspective about the whole seizure incident at DragonCon since they heard both of ours. Jacob's sitting in the back of the car while we're waiting to go into D&D, &D, so he apparently got a statement from her, and although we can't get it directly from her mouth. How did she put it, Jacob? Apparently I was very calm and very intense is what she said. There you go, folks. Second-hand account, calm and intense. Like I said, I can't tell you because, well, I was preoccupied. <laughs> but yeah, so there's her statement. He was apparently calm and intense. In other I words, didn't get too angry until afterwards. Uh, yeah, what happened? Was that whenever it ended, I realized those guys didn't even look our way. And then she heard me rant for a good thirty minutes on how that was disrespectful. And yeah, once I found out. I pretty much agreed. So that was a fun conversation we had at some point. Yeah, they rolled a five and I rolled my friend over. <laughs> that was horrible and I love every single bit of it. You know this. It was true. <laughs> they did roll a five. <laughs> That's a sad bro. Are you gonna get moving right now? I'm hoping they move in. So, I gotta get to bed, but just quick, really quick D&D &D recap. Just a quick one. We were dealing with that stumpy living building thingy, I guess. I don't know an actual technical term, so that's the best I can come up with. And with that, the thing ended up, you know, being taken care of. I think I told you guys about that. It's, it's been a week. Cut me some slack, right? And then... We ended up being surrounded by these things that we assumed were golems. I found out later they weren't golems, but we had, we kind of assumed. We fought them off, and then someone we had met before showed up. This really old sorceress. She ends up going inside of this skull thing, and obviously I am condensing this stuff uh, down, because like I said, I gotta go to bed. But anyway, so... She ends up going to the skull thing and trying to escape. Just totally launch herself away. And then our cleric thinks to spell magic. So he gives it a shot. And I'll be danged if he didn't pull it off. He ends up getting it by that much. It was like a couple of points of a difference. The big skull transportation she was in crashed down through the roof of the structure, and that's where we are. So next week we'll have to rush inside and see if we can do anything with it. Might be a total party kill. Who knows? Only one way to find out, and that's next week. But yeah, that's it. I, I need to go to bed now. I'm just... You can tell. You, you can just tell. Two words. Full moon. <laughs> yeah.
that's that's on top of it. I didn't even notice until I was walking up and went, oh, well, that explains a lot. But yeah, it was a good day and everything. I just, I don't share everything with you guys for a specific reason. I just got something personal that's kind of got me bummed. I mean, it's nothing that's going to even affect you guys or content or anything, right? It's one of those little things where, in hindsight, it's done, it's over with, you know, whatever sort of thing. But still, it just kind of bummed me out, because I care about someone, and I'm kind of worried about a specific thing with someone. Let's put it that way. And if I go any further, it will be me tilting something personal, so... You guys know it's important when I don't share. But yeah, it's something I just need to sleep on, and then I should be fine. It's just... I hate full moons sometimes. And I guess it was just one of those things where it was after I left D&D and everything, and then it all came up, and it just... I had such a good evening for it to just bum me out at the very end. Yeah, that's... That's the sort of thing that just kills me sometimes. Because you know me, I'm a positive person. But when... When a situation just takes the confetti that I've thrown in the air and lights it on fire... And it's just not fun. That's sometimes life isn't fun, you know. So it's just something I gotta deal with. And like I said, I'm not gonna let it bum me out. I'll sleep on it and I'll be perfectly fine in the morning. So until then, good night everyone. And don't let stuff get to you. Honestly. Life carries on regardless. It's something I gotta keep in mind right now.